tune into the Green and Growing program on Eagle Community Television with Holly Dickman, Ellis County Horticulture Agent. Holly will identify common lawn and garden issues and provide up-to-date information weekdays at noon and 9 p.m. on Channel 14. Green and Growing, brought to you by Eagle Community Television and Riedel's Garden Center, a full-service garden center west of Hayes on Highway 40 next to the Bickles Schmidt Sports Complex. One of the most overlooked step in landscaping or in gardening uh, is soil testing and that's a really great thing to do so that you know what kind of nutrients you're starting with to begin with. I get questions sometimes about well how much fertilizer do I put down and the question or the answer is well you just don't know unless you do a soil test. So soil testing is a very simple process. I'm going to go through the steps here today and then if you have questions you can always contact your local extension office. But generally with soil testing on a garden or on a flower bed, you want to dig a hole at least six to eight inches deep. Um, and you can do that a couple different ways. You can use a sharpshooter, you can use a hand trowel, any way you can to kind of dig down to that depth. And then what you want to do to get a nice representative sample is take a slice of soil off of the side of that hole, about an inch thick. So just for demonstration purposes. We'll pretend that that's six to eight inches deep. We got about an inch to an inch and a half here. You just want a nice even slice off the side of that hole. Then you want to go ahead and dump that into a bucket. If you have a relatively large garden plot like this one is, you want to take many random samples throughout that area so you get a good representation of the soil throughout that whole entire area. So in an area this large, I would say take at least 10 to 15 different samples like I just showed you, put them all together in the bucket and then mix them up. Now when you bring a sample to the extension office for testing, you don't have to bring us the entire amount. You can just fill up a little plastic baggie or a little container full. Usually we need about a pint or just a little over a pint. So you know it looks like you're taking a lot of soil but really you're just mixing that together so you get a good representation of what's actually there in your garden. Now you can also do this sort of testing on a lawn and with lawns you only want to dig down about four to six inches so about the same but maybe a little bit shallower and once again if you're doing the front yard for example you'd want to take random samples throughout that yard to get a good representation. One thing I will mention with lawns you know a lot of times the grass is already there you want to make sure and remove that top layer of grass or that organic material at the top you don't want that mixed in with your soil test material. If you don't have a trowel or you don't want to dig a bunch of holes, we do have a soil probe at the extension office that you can rent or check out and uh, borrow, I guess I should say, free of cost. And then this will just take cores of soil, which is a much easier process if the ground is a little bit damp. So this will take nice, even cores of soil. You can go ahead and take your random samples and then go ahead and put those in the bucket. Now when you send soil into the soil testing lab, the results will come back to the extension office and the extension agent, in this case Nellis County would be me, will look over them and then analyze them and send you back results with some recommendations. Usually for a garden or a flower bed we recommend that you do what's called a package 2 which will give you your pH, your organic matter content, your nitrate nitrogen, your phosphorus and your potassium. On lawns we recommend package one, which just gives you the phosphorus, the potassium, and the pH. Oftentimes, the soil test results that I get back are excessively high in phosphorus and potassium, which tells me that there is no extra fertilizer in those nutrients necessary. So, you know, a lot of times people put down those balanced fertilizers or maybe put down phosphorus year after year after year and those levels can actually get excessively high which is not a good thing. So you want to make sure and test your soil, see what's there, make sure you're not adding things that you don't necessarily need to add. If you have questions about soil testing or the process of amending your soils to get ready for planting, contact your local extension office for more information. Reporting for K-State Research and Extension in Eagle TV, I'm Holly Dickman, Ellis County Horticulture Extension Agent. 
tune into the Green and Growing program on Eagle Community Television with Holly Dickman, Ellis County Horticulture Agent. Holly will identify common lawn and garden issues and provide up-to-date information weekdays at noon and 9 p.m. on Channel 14. Green and Growing, brought to you by Eagle Community Television and Riedel's Garden Center, a full-service garden center west of Hayes on Highway 40 next to the Bickles-Schmidt Sports Complex.